Okay, and welcome back to what would appear to be Saints Row 3 in Britain. Huh, that didn't go well. I need a vehicle. You'll do. So last time we unlocked a few more upgrades which we're going to politely ignore because we want as much money as we can have. We got a job to do. If we're going to get a cash flow going, we'll need a business to funnel us money. You want to rob some store? That'll cause more problems than it's worth. I'm saying we buy one from the morning star because they'll jump at the chance to sell to us. Nope, because we already have the deed. Come again? We take the deed from the lockbox and purchase the store in our name. Well, if they can't argue... Apologies about the last video having a bit of sound cut out, by the way. Um, YouTube and Kanye West's record group got a little bit snippy. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. A gun store, gun store. and buildings we can snatch up. And we got the muscle to take whatever we need. So we're gonna need steel port on our side too. Drive around and see if we got any fans here. All things. I'm very much going to need. Would like to switch that out for the Death Blossom, but I can't. Oh well. Just ammo it is. Looks pretty good to me. Let's go and find the um, doll. <laughs> what are the goodies were in the box? An apartment building. I thought you just got a new flat. A brick and mortar, baby. Real estate is cheap. Taking money away from the syndicate. Not a bad plan. Apartment building. Bit more money per hour. I've seen Morningstar all over the city doing deals and shit. So they'll be easy to find. We wipe them off a corner, they'll think twice about coming back. No, I need to go and tidy up a gang operation. This is going to be fun.
One moment. Done, done, and I'm on to the next one. Spot here, head to friendly fire. That should get them to back off. Why? Because we own it. So we got boys protecting it. Any place the Saints own should be able to take the heat off you. Good to know. That's one of the mechanics I do like. If you get separated from someone you're supposed to be doing a mission with, they can just hop in a car and come get you. Have a nice day, mate. Also, I'm taking no responsibility for my driving from here on out. I've got a tire missing. I've had people come in on my driving in video games plenty of times and shit. This is me just holding forwards, and it's drifting to the right, so... There is so much control I have over the car at this point. And there we go! The city has been taken over. A little bit of dollar, but the main thing I made there is the hourly cash. And now we can start looking at some better upgrades. To rebuy that, a little bit of an incident between the last episode and this with my game, so. Some continuity may not be there. I think I'll get Scavenger. And... Hmm. I can't afford that. Can I afford the muscles? No. Radio. Tank Mayhem. You feel like blowing shit up? Go on, I'm all ears. Found the route the Morningstar uses to deliver their goods buried in the syndicate files. You're saying we drop a few pipe bombs under them? Fuck that! I'm saying we Let's go! Idea you've ever had. I always come out on top! I thought I could win in that fight. Don't judge me.
Yes, that mission was literally blow shit up with a tank and have money. It's a bit of district control and more tank mayhem. Now I'm quickly going to save the game. Grab a set of wheels and move on to the next mission. No messing about, just gonna get on with it. Alrighty. I'll rejoin you after this. And welcome to Professor Genki's super ethical reality climax. Time to see how the game is played. Fight your way through Professor Genki's super sparkle lap for fun and profit. Now, with every man, woman, and tiger shot, your prize money goes up. But look out. No one likes it when you shoot a panel and it's on. You've collected enough money, the door to the lab opens up, and you're free to go. But if you think it's that easy, you've never seen Kinky before. Oh, and one more thing. On this show, no one gets to take a break. If you want to stay in the fight, be sure to shoot the first aid target. Good luck. It's murder time. Fun time. So, welcome to Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. Super Ethical Reality Climax. Murder time is fun time, right, Bobby? You got it, Zach. If our contestants can survive the deadly traps, oh. armed mascots, and those freakishly huge hunters, they can win a hefty pile of cash. This game looks deadly, because it is. <laughs> but it's still probably safer than driving in Steelport. <laughs> our competitor isn't from Steelport this time, Zach. Today, we'll be watching the leader of the Saints, the world-famous Stillwater Street Gang. As many times as this former gangbanger has been shot at, blown up, run over, and generally put through hell, Mate. this competition Done still. seems pretty routine. Uh, routine maybe, but lucrative. You are going to make Professor Genki-sized dollars driving hoes around, that's for sure. <laughs> Cha-ching! I'd hate to be a mascot facing this contestant. Professor Genki must be loving this. Thank you, that I'll go home rich. This is unbelievable. perform this well so bobby how do you clean sewage out of a convertible with a toothbrush really no i let the rental company take care of it are you kidding me oh, what, they got it shitty of you Cash not as pocket. shitty as what this contestant is doing to those mascots we don't see a contestant dominate an arena like this often this can 
contestant. Another great burst of action by the contestant. Professor Genki should perform this well. The Genki games. Always exciting, always deadly. <laughs> but I will say, Bobby, the Saints' natural homicidal tendencies really do give this contestant an edge. This is true, Zach, but there's some things the street can't train you for. And the Japanese fever dream of a homicidal it's cat is me. one of them. <laughs> My god, I needed that health. That's some great action. Those guards will keep a doctor busy. I was running out of time. Yep. Oh dear. Let's go again. Welcome to Professor Genki's super ethical reality climax. Murder time is fun time, right, Bobby? You got it, Zach. If our contestants uh... the deadly traps, armed mascots, and those freakishly huge hunters, they can win a hefty pile of cash. This game looks deadly because it is, <laughs> but it's still probably safer than driving in Steelport. Our competitor isn't from Steelport this time, Zach. Today we'll be watching the leader of the Saints, the world famous Stillwater Street Gang. As many times as this former gangbanger has been shot at, blown up, run over, and generally put through hell, this competition probably seems pretty routine. Uh, routine maybe, but lucrative. You are going to make Oh, baby, I got me a good gun. That's for sure. Cha-ching. Apparently our contestant is quite the hero back in Stillwater. Have you ever been to Stillwater, Bobby? I did, and it wasn't a good trip. My car got in sewage by a passing septic truck. <laughs> really? What did you do to piss off the driver? I didn't do a damn thing. I just wish I hadn't rented his that. It is. We have a present. Cash a present pocket. is in the maze. Oh, baby. It seems like a lock for this player. Took dirty to me. So got a minute and a half left. It is. We have a present. A present is in the maze. It's been a long time since Professor Genki's has seen the caliber of shooting. I hope paramedics are standing by. Just like that. Goodness sake. Oh, it's an assault rifle. Nice. Anyway, we're done here. Nice. That went rather well, I do believe. For our first time on Professor Genki's? And that should be the last of Pierce's silly missions. Need wheels. Let me in. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Well, that just happened. Just let it go. Oh. Baby, we've got a car. And we've got some money. I think it's time to go upgrading.
One moment. Wait, the shop is under the bridge. Look, dude, I'm trying to back off. Good grief. I don't have a license. Hmm. Uh. Shop, shop, shop. Shop! <laughs> so I got myself a little bit stuck between a rock and a hard place. Right, the place I'm trying to buy is here. The less said about that, the better. Now, I wish to mod the car. You know, to have different jobs appearing around town now. All for completion. Varying levels of it, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> What are you? Rusty's needle. Alright. I'm dumb. There we go. So I'm looking for a car mod place. Um. I found a wall. Why am I not surprised? Bother. That's a clothes shop, because that's Planet Saints. Uh, where I is? Right, let's try that one. This is fine. Less fine. Less fine. Okay, I'm still driving three quarters of a car. There we go. This is a place I wanted to see. Gets me a nice discount. Which is good because I'm about to need it. Alright. Let's go! No newly... Newly souped up wheels. Let's see what kind of troubles we can get into around here. I 
did see a tank mayhem activity nearby. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, that's all the way over there. Go take a look at this insurance fraud before we call it a day on this episode. Actually, no, I do need to go store this in my garage. Okay. And now we'll go to insurance fraud. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're supposed to wait until you get there before you start the activity. Character person. So, on this, I have four minutes to try and generate as much money as possible, basically from fucking up. That was rather spiffy. I mean, you can just ragdoll and fall over. There's very little fun in doing that unless there's a car coming the other way. That was underwhelming. Let's head over to the next of these little blue squares. We're not doing very well here, I've got to say. How did I walk away from that? Or, you know, drive away. I don't think we're going to have the time. Oh. 
No, we failed. Although... No, we passed. Interesting. Very nice. Huh. I should probably turn that off. <coughs> anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. So I thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye bye for now.